What's up guys, Triple C here. We got a surprise card today, the Truffade Nero, which is kind of, uh, I guess, the successor to the Adder. And we're going to be doing the stunt test with it. We're going to see how it does on a variety of stunts and compare it to our benchmark cards, which are the T20s and Torno and the Osiris, which are up to date, still the best cards for stunning in this game, if you want to stunt race. Uh, for everybody new to this, how we always do it, we always test them on the same kind of stunts under the exact same conditions. And just so we have a direct comparison we're going to test it on wild ride spires like uh, anything you can imagine and like i don't care what the outcome is i don't want it to perform bad or good um i just look at it as objective as possible and just do a direct comparison to the other cars so yeah let's jump right into it all right our first test like always a regular container wall ride um like always any car can wall ride so the question is not will it wall ride but how does it feel on the wall how sensitive is the steering does it oversteer understeer um, is it consistent on the wall how does it feel and um, basically what we can also always see in this test what i take my cues from is always how does it uh, knock off the dummy proof because that's a very important uh, factor if you're looking for a car that's good in stunt racing how it does on dummy proofing so yeah let's get on this wall and see how it does here of course it's always if you're in a new car you gotta get used to it it's actually my first time driving it very i like it man i like it nice it does feel nice it does feel very consistent a uh, kind of pleasant surprise like with the tempesta um i was really positively surprised how it feels on the wall it did have and if i gotta compare it to the other cars very similar to the Entity and also the Tempesta, it's very steady, it has an immediate reaction once you tip, it's not delayed like with other cars like Osiris for example. Dummy proofing it seems okay, I can't tell a lot about it yet but um, definitely feels okay. It's a bit more sensitive than the Entity but other than that very similar to it, it actually feels very nice. So. Definitely a nice pass on this one. Let's jump into the next. Now we're testing a steep ascending wall ride, which is basically also kind of an ultimate test because actually only T20 Osiris and Zentorna are really good for this. All the other cars, they lose their camera view. A lot of them are only two wheel drive, but basically what it is, all other cars lose that power, that raw acceleration going up there. They, um, the speed decreases on the wall, and that's when you lose your camera view. So let's see how it is with this one here. Will we lose our camera? It doesn't look good. It doesn't look good. Actually, nice. Easy. <laughs> nice surprise there. We did not lose our camera. Even the Tempesta, which I really like for stunning, which actually does really well on all kinds of stunts, and which is the best addition, in my opinion, since T20 and Osiris. Um, even the Tempesta lost its view on that one. That's why I also, that's also part of the reason why I said it doesn't really reach T20 Osiris and Torno all the way. It's almost up there. But this one actually did it. We did not lose our camera view. We, we're driving with a low camera, by the way, and T20 Osiris and Torno do not lose their view. Also with the high camera, the Tempesta did lose its view. We tested that too. But yeah, definite pass on this one. Big surprise. Nice. Alright, next up what we're testing is a barge spiral to overhead wall ride to a wall ride. And same issue as with the previous race, all other cars except the T20s in Toronto and the Osiris, they lose their camera view, you go totally blind for a second, you don't see where you're going. So let's see how this one does on it. By the way, for everybody new to these stunt tests, we're not, it has nothing to do with how it does on the track. This is just strictly about the stunt. Although I gotta say, it does feel very nice on the track. Um, definitely, it, it definitely feels nice. It's a quick car. But I think the Tempesta might have a bit more consistency. But yeah, it's just the first times I'm driving it right now. First impressions, basically. But it does feel nice. Also that nice extendable spoiler there. I don't even know if I want to customize the set bandies. I like it like it is, actually. Alright, here we go. Let's see. Uh, almost last of you. Okay, it slid out there. That's a bad sign. We did kind of lose our view. Like on the other cars, you lose it completely. Osiris T20s in Toronto, you keep your view all the time. The camera is far away from the car, so you see where you're going. But we could basically still see where we were. Only thing is, once I steered hard, it did spin out. Now I let off the speed, so I wouldn't spin out. So yeah, I definitely I'd give it a pass on this one. 
Although I gotta say, you probably do better in the Osiris Centauro T20. If you have to do a, a big adjustment or a harsh adjustment, this one will spin out. We'll see that in the container spiral test, which we'll do later probably. All right, next test. Okay, very generic stunt, a King JMK loop. Actually, every car did this, with the exception of the X80 Proto. That's the only one that did not do this. I expect this one to make it. And yeah, it sucks up to the wall. Actually, the X80 Proto didn't suck up to the wall after the after the loop. It didn't connect to the wall. But yeah, uh, pass on this one as expected. Like I said, every supercar can do this. Next test, uh, container spirals. There's actually two things we're going to test in this. One, how does it do when you go in the spiral at low speed? Because the cars like T20s and Toronto Osiris, they just have such an amount of power, they just grip anyways and you'll always get up there. Other cars, which are also fast on a track once, once they reach high speed, like 811 R7B with the rear wheel drive, they do not grip in here, you know, like if you go in at low speed. So we're going to test that, and then what I'm also going to do, I'm going to jolt over the steering once and see how it sticks or if it spins out, which we got a pretty good indication of already that it might mess up on that. But let's just go in there at low speed and see if it's got the power to get up there. Yeah. It does. Okay, power, no problem. Yeah, and I jolted the steering and we spun out immediately. So yeah, it, it definitely does have the power, but I can tell you now, if you're not accustomed to these spirals, and you might have to do corrections, this is not the car for you, because other cars, like the Zentorno for example, you can just jolt the steering over as hard as you want, basically, it will not spin out. And this one, you need to have your line. So if you go in there with a good line, you're, you're good. But once you have to make adjustments, chances are very high that you spin out with this one. Yeah, it's just like on ice skates here. Wait, I'll draw the steering now. See what happens? I just draw the steering to the left and immediately did a 180. So, um, yeah, I wouldn't recommend this for container spirals and spirals in general. Unless you're an absolute pro, and it doesn't matter if you have to make... Ah, okay, here we're too slow, we did get up there. Okay, I'll just get a good line going down there just to demonstrate it once, but um, basically this is like a prerequisite. Know your line or fail with this one. Not the best car for it. Definitely much better cars. Uh, I'd recommend, like, like I said before, T20 can also be slippery. Osiris and Zentorno are definitely my favorite. Zentorno is very consistent on these. So yeah, um, semi-pass. It does have the power, but in, in regards of slippiness, uh, being slippery, uh, it actually failed. So, I don't know, you, you decide. Definitely not the recommended car. There are much better ones for this. Right now we're going to test the crab slide. Uh, basically with crab slides there's three types of cars. There's the cars that stay on their side, cars that go on their wheels which is very bad, and cars which roll over on their roof. Uh, basically um, the Tempesta stayed on side very consistently, a great car for crab sliding, might not be the best. So let's see how this one does. Oh perfect, it's just like the Tempesta. And basically the Adder is also, Adder and Infernus were the best cars for crab sliding before we got the Tempesta. So seeing that this is the successor of the Adder, uh, no big surprise really, because actually you know what it is with crab sliding, people always, or this is also what I thought when I tried to build a crab slide on PS3 and um, only tested it with the entity, it went on its wheels right away and I was like, ah, okay, it doesn't work. Because I thought it has something to do with the shape of the car, but it actually doesn't. The only thing it has to do something with is where the center of gravity of the car is. That's what I suspect, because you got like cars like the Infernus, if you look at its shape, that car, you, you, you wouldn't expect it to stay on its side, you'd actually expect it to tip over. Or also the Zentorno, it stays on its side pretty consistently. It will roll over on its roof eventually, but it does stay on its side. But um, this one here also, like, really, really, really nice. Like, you can build really long crab sides with this, which I still... <laughs> oh, you guys, when I said I'll do that, like, build a really long one for the Tempesta. And this might also be one where you can also take this car, because it's very consistent. It just sticks on its side. Let's do it again. Absolutely beautiful. 
Yeah, perfect. So definite pass on this one. If you wanted to roll over, I don't know, you can probably self-roll, but yeah, um, that's another matter. Uh, definite pass on this one, it did really nice, uh, just um, even a bit better than the adder, I might, uh, I don't know. Definite pass, did great. Alright, next thing we're gonna see, and I mean this is not like a, a part of the test really, we're just doing this here for curiosity. We're just gonna look how it reacts to dummy proofing and wall flips. But like these kinds of races are always fine-tuned to specific cars, like this one's built for the Osiris, for example. It would be unfair to test it with this car and just say it doesn't work, because it's obviously built for another car, the dummy proofing is fine-tuned to it. But we can still get like an indication, does it grind on the dummy proof consistently? So don't view this as a um, as rigid part of the test, but just like as an extra to get like a small indication. Alright, my first barge wall ride in this, like I've never barge wall ridden it before. I only did that quick container wall, right? Okay, yeah, but it's so similar to the entity, I'm really not having luck. Oh, nice! Nice, nice, nice. Well, yeah, we can say this already, it did very similar to the car this one. Oh, yeah, now I messed it up. Um, did very similar to the Osiris, which this is actually built for. Very consistent flip there. Worked nice on the dummy proof. It, it, like, it, didn't, it, it got flipped in a nice way and not inconsistent. Didn't like randomly flip out to one side. Nice. Beautiful. I like it. Oops, yeah, okay, yeah, well, um, even though this is not really part of the test, but um, there's definitely a lot of potential here. Um, it ought to be a car which you can really build, build something with nice dummy proofing and it will be guided consistently. That's what it looks like in the first instance, in our first impressions here. So yeah, definitely very nice. Final test. Uh, like always, Freaky Leaks, huge loop racing number three. This is always make or break. We're gonna test it from the respawn. And actually, very few supercars can do this loop. Most supercars fail on this loop. Wait, that was my respawn already. Uh, up to now, the only cars that can get around this are the um, T20 Osiris Centorno, the X80, the Tempesta, and the Penetrator, actually. No other car can get around this loop. They just don't have the power to get up there. So let's see how this one does here. <clears throat> it did really surprise me how well it did on that ascending wall ride. So that's a good indicator that this might also do pretty well here. And no, no, I'm falling. I'm falling. I'm not connected to the loop anymore. This is just pure luck if I get back on. Ah, too bad. Didn't make it. Okay, wait, let me respawn it, try it one more time. But I felt it already, you feel it on the controller when the car does not connect anymore. It just lost connection to the loop and it fell down. So it doesn't have that raw power compared to the other cars. We try it one more time, it was pretty close there, but let's go. Alright, go, go. Nah, no, 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 it feels bad. Okay, I'm off already. I'm not touching the loop anymore. You can't really see it, but it's falling, you see? Nope. Unfortunately, failed the test. So yeah, up to now, very few cars that can do it. Um, so yeah, so just uh, to sum it up, basically, uh, wrap it up. Oh yeah, one more thing, because people said I should um, add the turtle slide to the stunt test. Basically, I consciously left that out there because any car will slide on its roof. You know, there's no car that will not do that. You could test like really steep turtle slides, how it like behaves on those. But basically, if you're just doing a turtle slide over a short period, any car will do that. It's, it's a bit like the King JMK loop we're doing. We don't really need to do it because any car does it anyways. Um, it would be a very big surprise if it couldn't turn the slide. I can guarantee you this one definitely does also turn the slide. So yeah, but to sum it up, um, 
it can't touch the the osiris t20s and torno it's still a very nice surprise on a lot of stuff it's very consistent with the dummy proofing it feels very nice on wall rides um we didn't lose our camera as expected basically or as as feared like on most cars lose their cameras on those very steep stunts on those spirals this one did very good it was however slippery in the spirals and you can also feel that when you're taking it around the track it's it's got a nice traction but if you push it too far you will slide out and you just got to be aware of that point like how far you can push the car um, but yeah that's what we saw in spirals anyways. now it's just sliding here you see so yeah that's what we saw in the spirals for example it does slinger out nevertheless it's a fun car um, if you got the money definitely worth buying it just to take it out for a spin um, I, I might also try some single line container wall rides and stuff with it it does actually feel really nice on the wall but yeah um, and, and, and like to sum it up to sum it up again <laughs> like since cunning stunts like they promised rockstar promised us stunt ready vehicles actually all cars from finance and felony and cunning stunts all seven supercars we got were absolute worthless on stunts it was very ironic that they advertised them as stunt ready vehicles because they all cannot even remotely touch the top stunning cars and now with this uh, last DLC with import export we actually got some really nice cars which still cannot touch them like if you view every aspect of it like everything we did test here today T20s and Torno and Osiris do every stunt without a single issue Tempesta and the Nero here um, they did very well on the stunt test but not in every regard so yeah um, also maybe depending on what kind of stunt you want to play you might want to choose this car so yeah um, I like it definitely I will be using it not on every type of race but I think it's a very good addition uh, to the supercar class but still like what I also said with cunning stunts like the stunning community is still waiting for that big asset you know that that absolute awesome car that might even be better than the T20 Osiris or Zentorno. So uh, th that we still didn't get yet. Um, let's see in the future if we might, if one might be added. But yeah, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll check you guys in the next stunt test when the next car gets released. Uh, anyways, I'm out, guys. Enjoy. Peace.